All right, as we were leaving round one, we saw this Peter Piper pizza, never heard of it, but it looks like a huge arcade and we're a little hungry, so we're gonna go check it out. All right, so we went ahead and ordered pizza. The arcade, once I'm inside, doesn't look nearly as big as it did from the outside, so I might be regretting this. It's kind of like a glorified Chuck E. Cheese's. But the pizza prices was, I don't know, average pizza price. We got medium pizza breadsticks and two drinks for $25. Anyway, I am just don't know how big that arcade actually looks. All right, breadsticks, they look really good. Pizza, I kind of feel like we got sucked into Tucson's version of Chuck E. Cheese with 70s music. Def the music is definitely not matching the era of the fan base. <laughs> Okay, I think they used to have the old machines. Look, they're like... What are those machines about? I don't know. Circus tickets. Oh my god, and it's you get the tickets. Oh man. I guess they do. Oh wow, they, they have oh a, a five ticket. Yeah, but they got two zombies sitting out. There's two zombies out there? Yeah. Alright, let's go. sink it. We have a roller coaster not going on, ski ball. It's don't look very good. So we got 40 tokens for $10. This is two tokens. There's two zombies. So guess what? Two tokens. That one has a ticket right there. All right, so I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play against Robert. Is that where the token? All right, let's see if I can actually play this one. Oh, right off the bat. All right, where's the tickets go? Oh, did you get the second one? Where's the tickets go? I don't know. Um, yeah. All right, this blows. Hold on one. Oh, here, comes. oh here, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, that means you got the jackpot, you jerk. Oh, man. Oh, I even got it on the first try. And it already, and it spit them out again already. Oh my God. There's a 250. Holy cow. All right. Look at old fashioned tickets. Mine's folding nicely. Old school coins. Mine is not folding nicely. Look at that. I mean, besides the fact that, yeah, his is still going because he got oh, it will. he got the 500. I only got 100. All right. Oh, I got 
got 10. Oh my God. I'm I like this one. You, you get your money, fool. I'm actually good at this one. Yeah, you are. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh my God, it's still going. Oh, what'd you get? What'd you get? No. Did you? Oh. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I got the zombie. I got the zombie. I'm going to have to do a voiceover because I am sure this music is... Oh, way too loud. Look at that. Zombie. The zombie. Man, I wish this, this was the one at St. Dave and Buster's because I got the setting. Oh, man. No, Wait, no. wasn't there a 250? There it is. There it is. Get your hands off the two. Oh, I didn't get it. You ruined it for me. Oh, what was that? He just got 250. He just got 250. <laughs> Unbelievable. We're going to have to refill this machine with tickets. Oh, there's another 250 for you. Where? It's coming around the corner. There it is. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, wait. Did I just do the... Oh, my God. I think I just accidentally... Son of a freaking... I just put the that nice coin in. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. Because I'm an idiot. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Because I used all my tokens already. But I, I can't believe I... I'm out of tokens. Thank you. Oh, I got five. All right. This is still going. All right, my last last try. Make it count, baby. Make it count. Oh, I was right on my mind. Oh, I didn't. Oh, okay, I'm done. I'll just watch you. I'm done. Is that it? That was all That's of it. them? Yeah. All right. I got 250 and something else. the old-fashioned insert tickets here. Yeah, no, he's gonna... What is that? Isn't that... Isn't that an everlasting gobstopper from... from Willy Wonka? Isn't that what that is? That's exactly what it is. That is the everlasting gobstopper. Alright. We're sitting in the parking lot of Peter Piper Pizza. Is this the light? Yeah, I don't know how to get one. Can you turn that? I don't know. This rental car is a bit confusing. There you okay. go. All right, that's a, so, I just gotta just, okay. The pizza was really good. I actually burnt the top of my, you know how when the pizza's so good and you can't wait to eat it and you burn the roof of your mouth? It's been a long time since that happened, but that happened. The cheese was really good. The breadsticks were really good. I was halfway through the pizza. I was regretting coming here because there was like, a whole bunch of birthday parties going on and these kids were running, running around like crazy like crazy and I almost got up and left and but they stuck it out and majority of the kids left and so by the time we were done eating and played the arcade games 
there was only like a couple adults with their little kids and all the parties had left and so it made it a lot more enjoyable it was old school you had to have tokens and so we got 40 tokens for ten dollars and we just played zombie snatcher and got a thousand tickets and i got this magic cube does it say rubik's cube it is it is an official rubik's and then with the rest over we got this baggy full of pink pink um tootsie roll like the strawberry flavored can you see that whole bag full um so it was fun it, it was fun because if you ever watch my other arcade videos i'm not good at zombie snatcher but my husband is awesome so he got the majority of the tickets um it was two tokens a play 40 tokens for ten dollars and that's all we played and there was other games like we could have played circus um circus of tickets but it was fun playing zombie snatcher and i was actually doing good tonight and there wasn't that many kids running around anymore so that made it more enjoyable um if you watch my channel for rk videos you're probably wondering why do i never go to chuck e cheese i have a chuck e cheese that's literally five minutes from my house maybe 10. i say everything's five minutes okay more like 10. um and i've went twice is that right twice and i've done a couple of videos with my nieces i don't go to chuck e cheese because it's tons of kids. It doesn't matter what time of day, it's tons of kids. And you're probably thinking, Jenny, it's an arcade. Of course it's tons of kids. Um, at Chuck E. Cheese it is, but going to Dave and Buster's, no, it's not tons of kids. Around one, no, it's not tons of kids. It's completely different. And yes, arcades are for kids, but guess what? They're also for adults. And so I just don't feel comfortable going to Chuck E. Cheese at Chuck E. Cheese with kids running around. I think it's like, that's the, Chuck E. Cheese is more for, that's like the gaming for children. Yeah, right? it is for, yeah. And I know as an adult, you can play it. That's fine. You yes. play it. It's, but that's just not our choice. But that's just, and that's my <clears> personal <throat> preference. I know there's a lot of arcade people. I follow a couple, I'm sorry, I cannot remember his name because I think he changed it on YouTube, like Coin Pusher 2 or something. But he goes to Chuck E. Cheese a lot and gets a lot of prizes. Where, But it's just not for me. I'm just not a Chuck E. Cheese girl. So this Peter Piper pizza is a lot like Chuck E. Cheese. So I won't be going back, but we did enjoy this visit. I won't be going back anyway, because this is in Tucson, Arizona, and we don't live anywhere near. But if I saw another one, I, I would I would skip it. It's definitely a great place if you have kids. Value-wise, 40 tokens for $10 is actually really good when all the games are like two tokens. A couple might have been four, but for the most part, value-wise, I think it's a good value for kids. I think we beat kids. the house tonight. I really think we beat the house. We did beat the house. <laughs> we did beat the house. Um, they didn't have many good prizes or big prizes because I don't think there's a need for them to have tons of big prizes. Um, this was a thousand tickets and I thought that was very comparable. So yeah, I liked it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I had fun. I think it, I mean, it's only because we played Zombie Snatcher against each other. If it other. wasn't for Zombie Snatcher, I don't know. I wouldn't have liked it. Yeah. I think when we just came in, there was too many kids at the birthday party and it was like... Because these kids had no discipline. Well, you know, with <clears throat> they, you know living with COVID, <clears throat> when the kids are, you know, I don't, I, I like kids actually. I like kids. You know, oh, yeah, I just yeah. don't want them at my table. Yes. You know, with the with the any other time it wouldn't be a big deal, but with COVID and stuff, yeah. I just don't want them congregating right where we're at. And that's the other thing about um, so Tucson, Arizona, um, you are supposed to wear your masks everywhere. So everywhere we go, it, there's always a sign that says wear your mask indoors. And I would say it's about 50-50 here. 50 people wear masks, 50 people don't. I've The only place I saw someone actually confront someone about not wearing a mask was today we had went to a trade show. And so they enforced it at the trade show. Round one, no one was enforcing it. Peter Piper Pizza, <laughs> Peter Piper Pizza, that is a good name. No one was enforcing it. I gotta say, we're doing business without seeing someone's face is really hard. Yeah, I, yes. Th this was, that was difficult. Yeah, but that's a separate video. Right, but, but it's still, it's, it's very, it's very difficult. Here, I don't care if I see somebody's face or not, but in business. You can't smile yeah. and get reactions with the masks. Yeah. So, but, you know Here, what? Here, it would have been nice if everybody were. Yeah, this is the place you want everyone to wear masks. Kids and germs. Anyway, overall, it was fun. I'm glad we stopped, but it was a one-time arcade for me, so. I don't know if you got one in your area. I thought the pizza and the breadsticks was excellent and I thought the price was very good. Value wise, it's a good arcade.